Lap 56. Vukovic is flying. He's lapped some cars five times and is running through the field with magnificent skill. Roger Ward spins on the backstretch. The way clear, Boyd and Vukovic move right along, but Al Keller spins into them from the inside. Buki is thrown over the rail, flipping helplessly. From a point directly opposite the bridge, the incident looked like this. Boyd's car, number 39, is thrown on its back and skids to a stop. Boyd is trapped underneath. Keller, in the car that started it all, waves frantically to warn other drivers. Ed Elysium, a close friend of Vukovic, stops his car and risks his life crossing the track to go to Vuki's aid. Keller rushes to Boyd, trapped under his car, still in the path of the other drivers. Vuki's car, a blazing and battered wreck. Keller and Speedway guards roll Boyd's car upright. Miraculously, Boyd has only friction burns from skidding on his back with his car on top of him. A mile away in the pits, McGrath senses something. All cars are slowed down by the caution light. Tony Bettenhausen heads for the pits. Buki's crew on the pit wall search anxiously for their man. Cal Nye Day pits as Vuki's crew waits. Jim Bryan pits. He was running second behind Vukovic. Vukovic is now long overdue. Paul Russo takes over in Bettenhausen's car. These two men had a relief driver agreement to share the ride. White-faced Tony Bettenhausen passes the news of what he has seen on the backstretch. Then the announcement. Vukovic, two-time winner of the 500, has suffered fatal injuries in the four-car crash. <laughs>